Hi guys, my name is Hannah Tauscher and I will be talking about the cabinetry stair step stool. Um, I actually called it the short stack system. This is my business plan and I just wanted to give you a rundown of my entire business model. Um, first off, I'm going to be speaking about my executive summary. Um, then I'm going to go into a little bit about company description, my market research, the industry of cabinets, um, and then move towards my business model where we'll be talking about partnerships, activities, resources, value propositions, customer relationships and customer segments, channels, cost structure, and revenue streams. Um, at the bottom of my page, I will also link my um, entire business plan write-up so you could follow along with this uh, um, presentation as well. Um, moving into my executive summary, I'm going to talk about my product. The cabinetry stair step tool, uh, title is the short stack system. Um, I believe is an incredible tool, uh, me being 5'1", um, I can't reach much of the tall shelving. So this is what comes um, very accessible to me. Um, I would be considered the short stack, so my product is called the short stack. Um, how I came about is just due to the fact that I'm so short, and I was like, huh, well, might as well come up with a cool, unique name um, that would be templated to my product. Um, calling it the short stack system. Um, the short stack system is in place of inaccessible shelving. Um, when it comes to small children vertically challenged individuals like myself, providing a fixture that will supplement other in-household uh, utility stools allows for a quick, durable, and accessible solution where an extra step or two is needed. Um, the short stack system is a built-in cabinet uh, step stool that provides a 180 degree uh, usage for both ends of upper cabinets. So when you pull it out, I also linked a picture below uh, to show what I'm talking about. When you pull out the cabinet, it will turn to the right and it'll turn to the left, uh, giving you both sides of the cabinets to be able to use. Um, the hideaway kitchen steps will allow users to access six feet to upper cabinet shelving and only takes about one and a half inches of cabinetry storage space. Uh, as our company service is to make sure our vertically challenged individuals are able to access high to reach places um, and our services include office management business processes of engineering to improve the efficiency and reduce administrative costs by selling to manufacturers. So I myself as a company um, have brought on a graphic designer to build this template in order to sell the manufacturers but then they'll build and uh, use the template to either shrink or enlarge uh, scale-wise for other cabinetry lifestyles. Um, but hopefully our goal is to not only set foot in kitchens, but set foot in all cabinetry lifestyles such as bathrooms, closets, and also other household shelving. Um, moving forward to our customers, a brief customer target audience that we're trying to follow. Um, the cabinetry stair step stool appliances is a largely um, following contractors, manufacturers, wholesalers, cabinetry retailers, and home builders with employees who want to increase productivity and reduce overhead costs for themselves. Therefore, I'm providing the template and they'll just uh, shrink in size or enlarge in size if, to fit the needs of their consumers. Um, I do have a team, a team of consultants um, on my end to uh, meet the needs of production for my target audience, conferring with other large executive wholesalers on their office procedures, um, as well as knowing what is going on in their company along with our company to meet the needs um, in sales ends and revenue. Um, moving on to the future of my company, um, I think this is a very innovative um, invention. Uh, I know that it's probably been spoken about or seen um, by others, but I think architecturally building a physical structure such as this cabinetry could be ever evolving and increase the technology um, in our cabinetry systems. Why should we have to carry around a step stool everywhere we go when it's mostly needed in the kitchen? Um, it keeps counters clean. You no need to climb on the counter anymore when you have that six feet breach of upper cabinetry. Um, our company really looks forward to not only reaching the kitchen needs, but other parts of the household necessities, such as sinks, bathrooms, and closets. 
Uh, a company description, I came up with a mission statement to ensure homeowners with quality services do buy a durable, convenient, and accessible product that will ensure them floors and counters stay clean and you keep users safe. Uh, principal members. So I am the owner. My name is Hannah Tauscher. Um, I do have a bachelor's in biological sciences pre-medicine uh, at Eastern Illinois. Uh, then moving forward to my other principal members, George Tauscher. He is my father, uh, but he also got his master's in business at Northern Illinois University. Therefore, he can be a great uh, collateral in my business. Um, I needed an account manager, and then my sister is actually a graphic designer, so therefore uh, we can build this template uh, greatly. Um, moving on to my legal structure, uh, incorporated in Charleston, Illinois, small town as it is, um, I did have to do a lot of research uh, moving forward to market research. The industry is very broad. There's a lot that goes in the cabinet industry, uh, along with wood type, infrastructure, different finishes. Uh, pieces for tracking system. It could go on and on, honestly. Um, that why That's why I came up with a template idea. Therefore, I can sell my template to other companies and I don't have to deal with any type of um, contracting or installing or making sure how uh, the infrastructure and cabinetry actually works. I need to know the knowledge, but if I have someone else that can do that, that's much smarter, uh, more inept, like adapt to be able to um, manufacture and install these different types of surfaces, uh, I won't need to reconstruct or, and I can eliminate uh, errors on architect, uh, architecture work uh, in our company. Um, and reach out to other companies that have the better uh, scaling for that. Uh, providing a convenient and accessible product that doesn't require dragging a heavy utility step stool allows for efficiency, safe, and innovative solutions to home improvement. So I think our product really stands out, um, even to other companies that sell cabinetry. Um, Speaking as of now, we are in a pandemic, so our economy will probably hit low um, and not be as great as our statistics have said. Uh, the Kitchen Cabinet Manufacturers Association announced 48 months ago a consecutive growth for cabinet industry are up 9.2% as of February 2020. Um, considering that February of 2020 really did hit our economic downturn, I don't know how our stats will look as of this upcoming year. Um, research and development, our company is planning to conduct the following research and development that is found below. Uh, we want to create innovation and technology of cabinetry appliances um, to improve processes and sales avenues um, with our partner partnering consumers and to reach our competitors in the cabinetry industry and to learn and adapt into served customers for better and higher quality product that will keep improving over time. Uh, moving forward to our business canvas model, uh, our partnerships, uh, associate partnerships uh, would be carpenters, investors, home improvement retailers. So this would be our ma new manufacturers as carpenters, investors. We actually have decided to move to a certain type of investor. Um, we're reaching out to an equity like firm. Therefore, they can find smaller partners that would like interest in our company and therefore invest in our company um, that gives us collateral money wise uh, I don't know these investors but if they can put percentage of money back into I want to put a cap our, at our investors because if we have too many investors um, what would our principal members make any type of return on profits when we would hit you know a break even point I don't see if we had a, a million different investors in our company if we could ever even break even for our principal members to make a profit from. Uh, so therefore I think it just right now will stay uh, as our internal principal member investors and then a few outreached investors uh, from a different equity firm. Um, there's different type of partners. Uh, we speak mostly on the working partner, which contributes capital to the business and takes active part in management. Managements, um, therefore, like my sister is a graphic designer, she's taking part in this building the template with us. Uh, my dad, great at speaking, uh, has an MBA, will definitely help in different parts of the business structure. 
Um, so I think partners are really key in building a, a great business, um, which also will then help learning and build knowledge to move forward uh, to be better as a company. Activities, product, and service. Our services include business process reengineering of product templates analysis, office management, on-site office management services. Therefore, we need someone, contractors, we're going to have to, like, my sister will be uh, noted as a contractor, graphic designer, to answer questions as our manufacturers may be confused or need help in our templates. Um, therefore, change in management, change in management, who we talk to uh, is really important. Customer relationships, super important. Uh, financial performance, how we're doing. Therefore, my dad can, uh, being an MBA, uh, he knows all those uh, different financial performances, whether we're doing good or bad, what's our assets, what's our liabilities in the company. Um, we want to have more assets and liabilities, but starting out, we're probably going to have more liabilities than anything. So we need to know our risk management. Um, so moving forward to our production objectives and marketing, logistics, uh, and production. Um, we need coordinators that will follow a business plan, strict guidelines shown um, also too in different subsections of my paper. The short stack system is a viable idea that postulates a desirable and profitable niche. The target demographic being sold to its home buyers. Uh, however, cabin uh, stair steps to appliances will be targeting and selling to wholesale home improvement uh, and cabinetry manufacturers identity identifying proper strategies and business path sales that will hopefully increase over a period of time, uh, not knowing where we're going to start out and what our increases were. It's going to take at least a couple, uh, probably half a year to a year to even see any type of like increase of hopefully a sales increase of where we're starting out to optimize uh, in advertisements, productions, and other finances, taking out loans. Um, strategies such as social media, video tutorials, uh, how to use appliances. Uh, it's really important to market our template as a profitable niche. Uh, just therefore, our manufacturers will see this as a benefit to their company. Uh, moving forward to my resources. There's definitely a lot of regulations that fall under the cabinetry manufacturing and installations. Um, if you go to the kitchen... Uh, Cabinet Manufacturers Association, they give a rundown of what our requirements must meet in order to be a item that can see, be seen on the market. Um, a list of requirements are shown in my paper if you want to go and look and read all of those. Um, just for example, so if we're talking about wood parts, uh, different wood parts are a must and a requirement so they must be dried a certain way, um, installed a certain way, far off the ground, um, different just joints, tracking systems, must all meet requirements, edge of panels, how close it can be to the wall, how close it can be to the sink, what's the height, is that okay, how close is it to the electric. Um, there's so many requirements that go into cabinetry that I, for one, don't know very well and I think that's why it's so important that we reach out to these manufacturers and talk to them um, to make sure our templates are getting installed correctly because then it can return to us in a risk. So um, moving forward to our appliance team, there will be different types of appliance team members, uh, developers, graphic designers, um, considering my sister Aurelia, she's our graphic designer. Craftsmen, carpenters for templates, same as Aurelia. Engineering team, we need to find a template that is engineered and scaled properly to be sold to other manufacturers, along with a marketing team, how we market this item uh, to be seen as so valuable as it is. Um, I, for one, would love this item in my kitchen. Uh, how it just keep me off the counters, I am sure, and even the other day, running through the grocery store, a man passed me, and I'm climbing on the top shelf to reach that little, um, I don't even know what I was getting, but it keeps me off the tops of the counters, safe, and for one, I don't have to climb, so it's accessible, it's easy, it's durable, it's efficient, we all need that in our kitchen. Uh, moving forward to our value proposition, positioning, um, so this benefits the provides uh, 
how unique our product is and reaching out to different target markets, the benefits, pains and gains of my product, uh, and then how ours are distinctly better than the eternal alternatives. Personally, I've never seen any installed stepping stool in the kitchen to help grab things, not only from the top shelving, but other higher reached places like the spice cabinet. Who needed that like flour, cornstarch all the way up at the ceiling? So I don't know. But me, I like to bake, so I would like to definitely have something that's accessible and easy to use in order to reach that. Um, but not only is it accessible, it's durable, and it makes sense. It's a 180 degrees design. You can use it on both ends of the cabinets. You don't need one. You don't need six on each cabinet. You need one. It'll reach, like, altogether an average cabinet reaches three feet wide. You would be able to reach six feet altogether, one on the right, three feet on the right, three feet on the left. Uh, this will grab the attention of buyers and interest them in the need for the short stack purpose. Um, stools are most likely cheap and will break over time. So this could be a great selling point for houses and also other uh, sellers of houses that choose to sell their house and have this awesome, desirable product in their home. It'll definitely have a great selling point to your home. Um, what you can do for better advancements of this tool even is to put it in bathrooms. Little kids need to reach sinks, so it's really important. Cabinets, really important. Closets could be a great use for this. Uh, trying to reach that, you know, top shelf and put the sweatshirts on the top shelf because we don't use them in the summer, you know, as often. So our company definitely has a lot of advantages. Um, and as strong as the stepping stool is, it's needed. So because our company is as strong as other companies, it will definitely give uh, the trust in our consumers and the company worth investing in. Uh, moving forward to my customer relationships, uh, it'll have a detailed description beyond demographic, geographic, USA, USA made, yeah, number one, psychographic, behaviorals, and then I gave an explanation as to why um, it would be the certain way. I think roughly the age, there's no discrimination in age, but it also depends too on when you see certain home buyers investing and when not investing. And most likely, you know, around the 25 to 35, most people are buying their homes. So this is when cabinets would need to be installed. Different types of channels, the growth strategy, communicate with my customers, how we communicate. I'm going to communicate by billboards. I think they're so awesome when you drive down the highway. It's such an attention grabber. I know it's kind of, you know, distracting to the driver. However, billboards are a real, really great way to grab the attention of my manufacturers and different target markets that I'm trying to reach out to, um, which also would bring a great way in selling points. So, uh bringing awareness, evaluating, and then how delivery and after sales work is really important. Our cost structure, um, there's definitely a lot of costs that go into this, and most homeowners spend between about $1,800 to $8,300 on cabinets. So it's definitely um, a really detailed project, um, but we'll be seeing uh, in greatly in kitchens. So... Um, Template costs. Now, our template costs, I have a breakdown of mechanisms in total of my template costs, considering tracking system, the linear feet of each cabinet, and then the uh, depending on the size of the cabinetry, it'll also vary. But overall, um, our template for each template unit would roughly cost a manufacturer about $115 to $120 per installation. Now, that's not considering installation fees, but also just to have that template short stack system unit in the kitchen cabinetry. Uh, moving on to revenue streams. Uh, we need to account for proper equity, so we would need to know licensing, customer payments. Um, the home tail realer, home improvement realer percentages, advertising and marketing fees, assets and real estate usages, carpenters, creation of template work, different types of advertisement. Um, this all just would vary and then overall, our acquisition costs, um, different labor, um, cabinet labor, models, and then installation all together. Um, this would definitely have more of a play into manufacturing, but also come down um, and come back to us as a company in order to break off a certain specific percentage of what we would um, 
pertain from the installation of that product in each household. Um, there's other relatable costs and disposals, but um, overall, considering the cabinetry stair steps to appliance were to sell to manufacturing units, uh, let's just say if there was five short stack system in each home, that'd be about $800. So therefore, um, the appliance, our appliance company would roughly make 40000 to pay back our company's principal members, uh, which then would run our manufacturer companies um, roughly nine to ten more homes from a uh, thirty homes uh, initially before even breaking even. Therefore, our cabinetry stair steps to appliance companies, um, our company would break even at about forty to fifty homes before seeing a positive return in investments. So overall, there's a lot that goes into um, my cabinetry stair step stool called the short stack system. Um, but there is great, great return in this company, I believe. Um, and overall, I think it's a great industry to be in because we're all seeing those new homes pop up, um, different, different lifestyles, different changes. And, you know, our overall goal is not only set foot in kitchens, but also set foot in all our other cabinetry lifestyles. So um, I can't wait to see where this company goes and hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your semester.